Today we shall see jQuery's filter method to narrow down our selection. There are six filter methods. Let us see them one at a time. Let's take an ordered list here. And of course, some list items. Well, to keep the example visual, let's take images inside our list items. So we have five images here. Inside our images folder. So in this example, we are also going to use chain methods in our jQuery. So please visit yesterday's video. Just type chain methods jQuery in the search term on our blog technotip.com. So this is how it looks on our browser. Five images. Let me use some styling information and make the ally display as none so that nothing is displayed once the browser, once the web page is loaded. Let's have a look. Okay, this is our HTML page. Now let's start with the jQuery coding. Before that, let me take a button so that we could write program for the click event of this button. To fit all the code inside our screen, I'll align the code here. And now let me take a button. I hope we need only one button, so we need not take any ID. We could identify this button uniquely since there is only one button. Okay, once the HTML page is loaded and is ready, we shall call an anonymous function. Now let's once the user clicks on the button, we will call another anonymous function. Now for the click event of the button present in our HTML page that is index.html, we shall select, wait, let me select the OL that is the order list and then fetch li by using children method of jQuery. And then using chain method, I'll fetch the first child of OL and then using dot CSS method of 
jQuery, I'll change the property that is display to block. So previously I had display as none. Upon clicking the display button, I'll make the display property to block. Let me give numbering to it so that we could understand which element was picked up by the jQuery. So the first element. Now I'll use last method. It's a method. Using this, I would fetch fifth element, which is last in our list. Okay. The last one being five. Now let me change the numbering here. Let me start with zero because our next method is eq which means equals which requires the index of the element to fetch which starts from zero so i'll give an index of four here which would fetch fourth element if i had given three two one etc it would fetch the respective index element now the slice method slice takes two parameters first one being the beginning and the second one being the end well, well we do not have fifth item here so we need to restrict it to four now within four so it will select one then two and three it would select one two and three now yeah one two and three between one and four means one two and three four won't get selected well let us display it horizontally so instead of touching this code let us do that dynamically using jquery itself our existing code I'll make this block element to inline. So let's test it out. Well, it's working. Then there is another method called not. Not uses class name or ID name, which deselects the class name we have specified and lists all other children so let me take an id uh, well let us take a class here so that we could give the same class name to multiple list items i'll call the class as no so let me put that same class to fourth element so second and fourth this not method of jquery fetches all the children's except the class which has a class name of no okay one two and one zero one and three because two and four has a class of no now the opposite of not is filter filter only fetches the children with the class name no so 2 and 4 has a class name of no so the filter method fetched these two children so these are the six filter methods of jquery using which we could narrow down our selection please try all these on your own these six methods would be very helpful in our complex application development so these are the building blocks please do not ignore learn them all for more notes and the code please visit technotip.com and search for filter methods of jquery thanks for watching please share this video with your friends on facebook youtube youtube too and linkedin twitter google plus etc subscribe to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please like this video on youtube